Okay, so we had to um, say what would happen if we react uh, potassium with oxygen, and no surprise, it produces calc, um, potassium oxide, but the difficulty was trying to work out what the formula for potassium oxide would be. Uh, to do that, we have to think what charge would the ions be. So um, by looking at the periodic table, we find potassium in group one. So that means one electron in the outer shell, and therefore it would lose that one electron to form a full shell. By losing one electron, it forms a plus one charge. And the oxygen is in group six, so it would have to gain two electrons. It would gain because it's a non-metal. It would gain two electrons um, to form a full outer shell, and that would make it a two minus charge. So we've got plus one, then two minus. So what we do is we get the two lots of potassium to equal out the charges, and the formula ends up being K2O. And this can be shown in this dot and cross diagram. Um, so the, the potassium has lost one of the electrons, um, one of its electrons from the outer shell, and gone over to this oxygen one to help fill it. But there's two lots of this, and we demonstrate that with this subscript two down here. So that's happened twice, and each time it's gone over to this oxygen atom here and to make an oxide ion. So the charges are plus one and then two minus, and then you do that to show that that's happened twice. Now, what this is showing down here is that you don't actually have to do the inner shells. You don't have to do all the other ones. You only have to do the outer one. Um, and with so with potassium here, we um, it's showing that only one of them, uh, we're just drawing the very outer shell. And in this case, it's using the dots for the metal. And it's not bothered with all the ones in, this, in, in between. And same here. So that outer metal um, electron has gone to this one and made this one down over here. And um, so we just we're just bothering with the outer shell. We still draw the outer shell, it seems, um, when for, for afterwards to show that the outer shell is now empty. Um, I think I have seen it where the outer shell isn't drawn if it's empty. But I think either one is OK. Um, and then you've got um, them using electronic configuration, sometimes done with a dot, sometimes done with a comma, but this means 2881 means the first shell is 2, then second is 8, third is 8, and the fourth is 1, and then 2, 6. So you, um, you can see down here the configurations are now all full shells, 288, eight, so it's lost that 1, and then to 2, 8, and so it's, gone, it's filled up that second shell.